Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought we would just get right into the tutorials. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my lids with the Soft Ogre Paint Bot from MAC. Then I'm gonna go straight in and put this light shadow from the Vegas Nay palette all over the lid just to make blending easier. So now I'm going in with City Lights, which is a super warm kind of caramel shade, which I really like from this palette. And I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade. And we're just gonna blend this in. It's gonna take quite a bit just because I wanna make sure that it's prominent enough and blend very nicely. So just blend this through the crease with any brush that you have on hand. And then we're gonna go on to the next step. So after you've buffed out that crease, we're gonna go in with this deep chocolate shade from the palette and we're going to focus this on the outer V. We're gonna sweep it into the crease a little bit, but really just focus it on the outer V and outer lid. So just blend this as much as you feel it needs to be blended. I took my time with this just because it was a little patchy this color was. Now I'm taking this MAC Dazzle Shadow and Get Physical and I'm going to buff this into my crease. I know this seems like a weird kind of combo, but these blend beautifully into the crease even though they're super glittery. I absolutely love these. So I'm just going to focus this on the crease and the outer V of it and I'm just going to keep building the color because they are very glittery and kind of more of a sheer wash, especially if you're blending them out. You can see me kind of packing it on the outer V and then just sweeping it through. So just keep building up the color until you feel like it's opaque enough. Then after that, I'm going to go in with another MAC Dazzle Shadow, and this is in Boom Boom Room. I actually got this one on eBay because I wanted it so badly. And I'm gonna pack this on the actual lid, and you'll see me kind of keep building it up. And of course, I'm out of frame. What's new? I never learn. So after I do that, I'm gonna take this black shade, and I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to focus this on the crease and just really the outer V just to deepen up the look. Uh, I like these kind of brushes because they still have a good fluffy kind of give to them but they still can focus in small areas. Then I'm taking this Clara Cosmetics Diamond Shadow and Champagne and I'm just going to apply this on the inner kind of part of my eyelid and then you see me going back in with that kind of tan shade and blending through the crease super quickly. And then we're going to go in with liner and do a winged liner. And then we're gonna apply our Vegas Nay lashes. And now we're on to the face. I kind of breezed through that because it was sort of easy and the same stuff I do in every video. So now we're going to apply our concealer the same as usual. We're gonna go for a super highlighted look because this is dramatic makeup. And you know I always spray my beauty blender with the Ofra makeup fixer spray and then we're just going to blend it out. After you're done blending, we're going to go in with our setting powders. You guys know these are my holy grails. And I'm going to apply the secret brightening right under my eyes and then the translucent just kind of on the outer corners of my eyes just so it doesn't give me that white cast. And I'm taking my It Cosmetics powder foundation. I love this for setting my face. I'm just going to set the rest of my face that I didn't set with the brightening powders. And we do this because when we go in with powder uh, kind of contour, we don't want to skip or drag on the skin, so setting it just works better. So I'm taking my Gorgeous Cosmetics Contour Palette. I love this palette. And I am taking my Adelium Tools brush, which I love, and just going to carve out my cheekbones, the usual thing that I do in all of my videos. To 
sharpen up your contour, you can always use a setting powder like I am here and just kind of drag it underneath your contour just to brighten it and sharpen up anything that you may have gotten a little muddy or messy. And then we're going to go in and contour our nose, same as usual. You guys know the drill. So when we're done with that, we're going to wipe away the powder just to kind of get everything even. And you can see it really brightens the skin, but it doesn't look crazy. So just wipe away all the powder under your eyes and anywhere else that you let it bake per se. And after that, we're going to go in with blush. I'm using this palette from Natasha Denona. I can't remember the number, but I will list everything in the description bar. And we're just going to put a little bit of pink color on our cheeks. You guys know I love baby doll pink cheeks. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go in with this Anastasia highlighter in Starlet. Yeah, this is like a really light white one. And we're going to just apply a little bit to the tops of our cheekbones just to give us a glow. And when we're done with that, I'm going back in with that camel color from the palette, and I'm going to really smoke out my bottom lash line and really bring some warmth into the look. So just sweep it back and forth continually on your lower lash line as smoky as you want it to go. I find that it makes cool tones a lot more wearable when you have kind of a really warm toned transition shade. So now I'm going to take this diamond shadow from Clara Cosmetics and it's kind of a gray sparkly tone and I am going to basically line my lower lash line with this. Just have it act as sort of a eyeliner but it's not as harsh. And then when I was done with that, I thought that I wanted the inner corners to be a little bit more dramatic. So I went ahead and took my Kat Von D uh, liner, but I took the brown one so it wasn't so harsh. And I just made kind of a little flick on the inner corner of my eye. So then I'm going to apply my mascara as usual. I just like to blend my natural lashes with the falsies so it looks more natural. And then when I'm done with that, I am going to start on the lips. So we're going to line our lips with my favorite lip liner and this is a Smashbox Always Sharp. And we're going to overline them because it wouldn't be my video if we didn't. Then I'm going to apply my lip stain. Again, I'm using both of my colors that I mix all the time. This is Coral Oasis and Poppy Paradise from Josie Marin. And I'm going to apply this to the inner rim of my lips as usual. And then I'm going to go in with a Natasha Denona lipstick in Baby Coral, which is one of my favorites from her. It's really beautiful. And after that, I'm going in with MAC. I believe this is Myth, and then I decided to change it to Orange Tempura. But they're both MAC lip glasses. I'll link them down below. And then set your face with Fix Plus, and you're all set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.